Hey, uh, how's it hanging? So, got here a Game Boy Advance. Also got here some PCBs I had made and some buttons that I finally ordered. Um, sorry this is taking so long. I ordered these months ago and uh, I don't know what the whole Chinese New Year happened and then COVID-19. Anyway, I finally reordered them through a different store because screw AliExpress. Um, well, specifically screw that seller that I bought them from. But anyway, that's a story for a different time. This is, these are rather uh, two different things here. These are flex PCBs that I had made. So they're nice and small, um, but you'll notice they look like a D-pad and A and B buttons, because they are. Let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart. And it does work. I mean, for now. See if we can't fix that, though. Uh, okay, so I need... Sorry, I should have grabbed my screwdriver ahead of time. That would have made sense, huh? Should take the battery out. So this one's kind of going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to take apart because of that um, battery gauge mod that I did, but screw it, we'll work around that. This is the console I want to do this mod in anyway. But if all goes as planned, by the end of this video I should have tactile or clicky buttons in my Game Boy Advance and not just the shoulders. This is a similar mod that uh, Blind Eye was working on a little while back. A little while, it's probably been a year at this point, Jesus. Um, I did do a few things differently though. Uh, he was using regular PCBs, uh, you know, like 0.8 millimeters thick. And what the fuck, that was out. And uh, because he was using the thicker PCBs, he had to ditch the membranes, the little silicone membranes, and get um, 3D printed spacers made. Of course, he designed them, so it wasn't too big of a deal, for him at least. But he didn't have a 3D printer, so if I recall correctly, there was a lot of back and forth because uh, he was using his university's printer. Anyway, that mod never came out. I don't know what happened with him. Um, I did talk to him a little while back before all this COVID nonsense shut pretty much everything down, um, at least outside of China. And he was doing alright, he was just taking a break from Game Boy stuff. But I think he's still, still doing that. Oh shoot, I'm going to have to desolder that, huh? Oh no, I won't, I'll just flip it up. What could possibly go wrong? All right. So the idea here is to take this and solder it over the uh, original button pads. And I tried to make it so that everything would line up. And so far, I think it's spot on. Uh, I have to move that one up a little bit or just not use that pad. Um, and unfortunately, on the other side, it wasn't quite as easy because not all of the pads are easy to are easy to get to, like those three are. But then there's these two extras that need to be soldered. Um, but first, let's start with the buttons here. I ordered, I don't know, forty. That doesn't look like forty, but I guess it is. Anyway, you need six. <laughs> it's probably worthwhile to get a few extras. Um, I don't know how easy these are to solder. Or specifically how easy they are to solder without screwing something up. But we'll figure that out together, I guess. Oh, you know what? Let me put this on this side because I am a lefty. That will just make my life easier. 
I'm going to solder the buttons to it first because that seems like it's probably easier. And these are directional. They should only go on one way. Um, I don't really know how to describe it, but if you try and put them on the wrong way, the pads won't line up, so it should be okay. I've also not tested this before. I just kind of winged it. And so far, it seems... Not terrible. Though clearly, that's not the case. Did I already ruin that button? No, it's just never soldered down. I'm going to tin all of these pads first. These things are really thin. It's hard to get a good angle on them. I think they're also supposed to be soldered um, with hot air, which is probably making this more difficult than it needs to be. But there's just barely enough pad hanging out. One, five more times. Shoot. little bit of flux. So I'm having difficulties with this last one. It keeps wanting to do annoying things. Alright, whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Definitely shouldn't have gotten flux in that. Let me dry that off. That dripped way more flux than I intended to. Now I did connect up all four pads, so as long as at least two of them are soldered, should be good. And by at least two of them, I mean one on top and one on bottom, not just two on the left or two on the right.
So far this isn't going too terrible. These are a lot more difficult to solder than I had anticipated, but it's not too bad. There we go. Now, solder this on here. And I have not tested this already because I literally just got these buttons. And I suppose testing it would have been smart, but that ain't me. All right, so we need to tin, let me move that up just a hair. We need to tin this TP5 pad, TP7 down here, and I think this one, yeah. Whatever pad that is, TP4. And then, Probably gonna have to add more solder to that. There we go. Last we need to run two jumper wires because I didn't cons I had never considered just extending that over, but this pad needs to connect to that one. That little Right, so I need to go ahead and solder this pad uh, I helpfully labeled it TP6 to this pad right here TP6. I'm thinking for my next version I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. That should be quite a bit easier. Um, I, there's already quite a few things that I have planned to change on this, but I figured, you know, let me actually get it installed before I proceed with that, just in case there's something else I want to change as well. And let me go ahead and tin these. And that pad right there. I cut this way too long, but that's okay. I'll just bend it. There's like a minimum wire length. It's it's very difficult to work with a wire. It's too short. And this is pretty much that. Okay. 
Then last one is going to be a ground. And this thing should have been on the other side, but that's okay as well. One of the other thoughts I was having, I'm just going to solder this to the shielding on the shoulder button because that's going to make it so much easier. Uh, this is also too long, but it's okay. I want to solder it on the inside, that way it's not getting in the way of anything. I'll just drop a glob of solder in there or something. I don't know. What was the worst that could happen? All right, so before I bother soldering the rest of this thing together, we're gonna do a test fit because if the D-pad doesn't fit, it doesn't really matter how good the uh, AB is. You know, shit, I should have did AB first. That would have made way more sense. In some weird stretch of irony, it's the left side that's not fitting. Oh, because that thing fell off. That's why. Okay. Right out, yeah. Oh, I should have kicked the brightness up. All right. Oh well, clearly it's working. <laughs> That's the uh, there it is. So you can see. There it is. I think. I don't. I'm not sure if I like this. Oh, and that's clearly a problem. You shouldn't be able to do that. I think I need to, um, I think it needs a spacer anyway. I mean, it works. We need different membranes though, that's for sure. That's neat though. I'm gonna do the other side.
And for install, we need to tin these two pads right here, TP1, TP0. This should just drop right in, or on, I suppose. My solder is being very difficult to work with today. Or maybe it's me, maybe I'm just out of practice or something. Okay, and so this is what I was talking about. This thing needs to go to that pad and uh, doesn't quite line up. I accidentally cut off most of the pad. We'll just add a big old solder ball and pretend that was the intention from the fir in the first place. Oh man, I'm trying to fix it. I ruined it. There we go. Just trying to make sure it's bridged and flat at the same time. No wires to solder on this side. All right, now we should to go and put it back together. Where'd my big ass spring go? There it is. That spring is just to hold the uh, speaker in place. I put a DS Lite speaker in this thing, um, and the DS Lite speakers aren't quite as thick, so it just rattles around without that spring. I put the speaker in just because this console had a bad speaker. Or, no, I'm sorry, that's not true. This console had a perfectly good speaker. The console I was repairing had a bad speaker, and that console I wanted to keep original because it was a limited edition. Nice. Oh, A and B feel a lot better than the D-pad. Alright. Let's get this thing actually put together, though. I'll try it out that way. for now. Fix it later. Man, this shell is all cracked now. That's kind of a bummer. 
guess they just get brittle as they get older. Have to order another one. All right. All right. Let's try it out. I'm going to flip this switch so that we can see better on camera. This is an old brightness mod. Battery cover. Battery's not inserted all the way, so it's not flush, but. Oh, shoot. I forgot to hold the LR buttons. And you can see, all my buttons work as normal, except for that. I'm still concerned about that. I'll have to figure something out for that. Maybe it'll work better with an OEM D-pad. I don't think so, because this D-pad felt pretty OEM. But I suppose I could just take the hole out of the middle of... Uh, this thing. Maybe that'll give it enough extra thickness to prevent that from happening. I don't know, but there we go. Seems to work great. Um, I'll go ahead and post the GitHub repository that I made uh, for this project. Like I said, there are still a few improvements, a few things that I want to tinker before I would call this a, a good to go mod. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't know how far I'm going to get with that, um, especially with how slow I've been working through projects lately. Uh, it, it's just been rough, guys. I, I'm sorry. I just frankly haven't had the mental energy to keep up with what I used to, the, the schedule that I used to keep. And it's just, it's been exhausting. I am trying, though. I'm, I'm still trying to push for at least a video a week. But um, anyway... I'll work on this when I have time. Just keep an eye on the GitHub repository, and I'll make a new video when I have uh, when I have something new in hand to actually try out. And I have plenty of buttons now, so I won't have to wait like three frickin' months for that. Um, otherwise, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Wash your fucking hands. Stop touching your face, etc. Have a good night.